Thank you. So I quit because I wanted to become a full-time DJ. And the only way to do that was to quit. So I got fed up. I said, you know what, I'm quitting this, I'm going full out with DJ, I'm going to go hard. But it took me a little while. It took me about maybe a little less than a year. Money wasn't coming in right. My mom was upset. Boy, you better find another job because you know you got to pay part of your rent. So that's what she told me. And then a year later. Justin, I'm so proud of you. you I'm so successful. And you finally moved out. So quitting Starbucks helped me. And now... I'm really, really proud of you. And I love you. Ma, you're so sweet. I know. Is it only for my vlog? No. Well, no, maybe. Working at Starbucks, I felt... Um, like I wanted to shoot my left toe. But, you know, at the same time, I was grateful and thankful that I had a job. My brother's ex-girlfriend, she had hooked me up with the job at the time. I really needed it, needed money, so I needed something quick and easy. Um, Starbucks became that. And I don't know, I just, I just, I stuck it out. I wanted to always DJ, and DJing was always like, on my mind, something I want to do full time. And um, I just didn't know when was the right time to quit. And after that, it was history. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy that um, by quitting Starbucks and basically working for myself as a DJ, I have the freedom to pretty much do whatever I want. Um, you know, I can travel whenever I want, and but you know, I have certain days where I just chill like this and I'm just riding my bike in Central Park. And um, those are one of the good things that uh, came out of quitting Starbucks is my freedom. So I'm going to take you to the Starbucks that I used to work at. It's on uh, 43rd and 3rd, I think. And uh, I'm going to go inside and see if I still see some people that I used to work with there. Go through these cars. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> For you non-New Yorkers, that is not the Empire State Building. FYI, that is a Chrysler Building. The Starbucks I used to work at was probably one of the busiest Starbucks. I know they're all busy, but this one was like dead in the middle of like Midtown. It was just always crazy. I see my Starbucks that I used to work at. Right over there. Oh, wait, that's not even it. It's two blocks down. My bad. Here's the Starbucks I used to work at. Feels kind of weird being back here. I felt like they about to be like, yo, Jess, your break is over. Come to the back, make some lattes. But that ain't the case. Another thing that used to piss me off is making lattes. Oh, I'm gonna grande a uh, mocha latte and two pumps so. Let me show you how I quit. <laughs> so I was mopping one day, right? I was mopping these very floors all around. I was like, you know what? This ain't me. I can't do this. My manager was getting on my nerves that day. 
it's late, it's tired. Talking about I missed the spot. Oh, I missed the spot. How I missed the spot. So then I put the mop down right over here. Walk to the back. Took my apron off, my hat. Set. I'm not doing this anymore, man. I'm out of here. Justin, you can't leave. What are you doing? You can't leave, Justin. I'm leaving. Bye. Peace. We're gonna go be a DJ. So. That's how I left. I haven't been back since. That was a nice little visit. Brought back some memories. Not good ones, though. Now off to my house.